how to make the Wallace walking frame bag. It has cam snaps to hold the straps on, has a nice deep bag, lot, get lots of things in there. Two pockets to keep smaller items in and on the other side another nice deep pocket and this is how you make it and this is what you'll need fabric for the two straps fabric for the lining fabric for the outer and fabric for the two pockets and some ribbon to tie it on with you'll start by making the two straps take your, your strap fabric and fold it in half and then clip all the way along there and at the bottom as I've done there. I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and use a quarter of an inch seam allowance and sew along the bottom and up the side. Remember if you are using directional fabric as I am make sure that the fabric is in the right position so that is the front of your strap. I've sewn them together and I've turned them the right way and I've top stitched all along there along the bottom and right up the top and it is correct that this bit is still open. We'll put them to one side for the next stage. Now we'll start with the pockets. Take one of your pocket pieces and add interfacing to one half of it as I've done and then simply fold it in half take it to your machine and top stitch all along there and repeat for the other one remember if you're using directional fabric that will be the bottom of your bag so you've got to make sure that your, your patterns go in the right way now we're placing the pockets on the outer fabric Place your pocket on as I've done and clip all the way around. Make sure that your edges all line up. This is the top of your bag. So make sure that if you are using fabric that's got a direction, it goes the right way. And if you want to divide your pocket, draw a line as I've done on that one and we'll sew that in a second. Now I've clipped both pockets into place. I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. I'm going to start there and sew quite close to the edge, all along there, along there, and up there on both of them. You won't see these stitches in the final make. I've tacked the pockets into place and I've sewn along the centre to give me two pockets for the front piece. And this will be my back piece and I haven't sewn anything along there. Now we're going to attach the straps. Use the back piece of your bag and place your straps three centimeters from the edge. Make sure that the open edge is at the top and do the same for the other side. Measure three centimeters in, clip into place and then we're going to take to the sewing machine and tack quite close to the edge just to keep in place. Once you've tacked your straps into place, take your ties and measure three centimetres from the bottom up and clip into place. Three centimetres from that end, end and clip into place. And we're going to take it to the machine and tack as we did before. Make sure that your ties are pointing into the bag. Once you've tacked your straps on and your ties, make sure that they're all out of the way and then take your remaining piece, which will be your front of your bag and place it on top, line up all the edges and clip into place. I've clipped all around three sides. And now I'm going to take it to the sew machine and starting there using a quarter of an inch seam allowance I'm going to sew down to there and stop along there and stop and up to the top and stop. 
I've sewn the three sides and I've snipped each of the corners and now I'm going to turn it the right way. I've turned it the right way and now I'm going to put it to one side while we work on the lining. Take your two lining fabrics and place right sides together and then clip all the way around as I've done and remember to leave a gap at the bottom for turning. And then we're going to take it over to the sewing machine and start there and use the same seam allowance, quarter of an inch. Start there and stop. Start there and stop. Start there and stop. And stop there. No sense. I've sewn all the way around and I've left a gap at the bottom and I'm going to leave it this way as it is. I've put the outer inside the lining and I've ensured that the side seams line up and the top edges and I've clipped it. And now I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and start there, sew all the way around there, joining the lining to the outer bag. I've sewn all the way around, joining the outer to the lining. And now the last thing to do is to pull it through the gap we left in the lining. I've pulled it through the gap and now I'm going to tuck these raw edges in that we left for the gap and then sew along there. I've tucked the lining inside and I've top stitched and I've added cam snaps. And that's your Happy Days Walking Frame Bag Wallace all finished.